Thanks for checking out my video. If you want to learn more from me, I have a lot of classes on Udemy. You can find the links to a lot of those in the description. So how can you tell the difference between that inner voice of yours, which is more, you know, spiritually based, or that mind of ours that tends to overcomplicate things or not think things at a deep spiritual level? level. So basically, you know, I was thinking about a lot. This, uh, I was thinking a lot about this kind of thing. Sorry, guys, it's like four something in the morning and I'm trying to get a bunch of stuff done around here and it's going kind of well and kind of, eh, but still trying to wake up anyways. So I've been thinking about, about this a lot and trying to differentiate the inner voice versus the mind. And one of the things that you can think of is whenever we're trying to analyze something or figure something out and we're trying to use logic about it, you know, the different things at our jobs or, you know, anything that's complicated. When we think about stuff, you know, it's very bottom up processing, meaning it's the how it's putting details together. It's kind of the step one, step two, step three, profit, that kind of jazz. Whereas the inner voice or the inner compass or, you know, spirit communicating with you or just your inner intuition, those kinds of things, you can all throw them in the same bucket, right? Is more just big picture, boom, more top down processing. So basically what I'm trying to say is, that the mind likes to make things complicated. It likes to give step by step and it likes to talk a lot, it likes to give a lot of information. When you're hearing something from deep inside of you, it's more go here, this thing. Ta da! You know, very, very short. It's one of those things that. It's almost as if the thought comes prepackaged and you don't really have to unpack it to understand it. The understanding just kind of hits you. Whereas if you're following a train of thought, your brain doesn't have that instant intuitive unpacking that that it can do with the spiritual slash, you know, more manifestation -y kind of thought. And your brain has to process through something in order to see, hey, this train of thought that I'm on, if I do this, 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 then it's going to work, right? So there is a little bit of a difference between the inner voice and the mind, you know, that inner voice versus the logic. The more that you start to pay attention to this kind of thing, the stronger that inner voice is going to get. And you, it's almost like you're going to be able to tell the different flavor of that voice instantly or as close to instant as you can get it. Now, the one of the other caveats that you really got to start doing if you want to try to start listening to your inner voice is testing it out. Not just listening to it, but going with it and seeing if that in that in inner voice that you were listening to actually gave you a good idea. And you can kind of do this thing by, you know, the more that you meditate and the more that you practice mindfulness, then the more or less clutter is going to be in your mind. And that being the case, then your inner voice, your spirit is going to be able to speak up more often and more clearly. And this can be any kinds of decisions from like, which route do I want to take to work? to what do I want to make for dinner, to where do I want to go on vacation, or, you know, any ideas from small to big. And the more that you ask yourself these questions, rather than trying to just instantly think your way through a problem, ask yourself for the answer, right? When, when you do that, then that inner voice of you is going to try to speak up and give you a response because our minds work on a call response kind of thing. If you ask yourself, what's five plus five, your brain is going to scream back 10. I hope, <laughs> um, 
you know, so the inner voice isn't just good for math. It's good for making decisions. And the idea is that when we follow this kind of thing, we're following our, you know, uh, we're following our inner magnetism. We're following the law of attraction manifestation. We're following the our spiritual essence and what we want to do rather than complicating it with this higher mind that we have up here. The higher mind is great for a lot of different things, but not when it comes to, well, it's great for understanding spiritual stuff, but not for actually executing it, if that makes any sense. So the more that we train our minds and our decisions to be guided by this inner voice, then the louder it's going to get, and then the better it's going to be at being able to help us not only with the small decisions of what do I want on my pizza, or which route do I want to take to work, but where do I want to go in life? You know, what is calling me to work on next? You know, like for me, I have so many different books, ideas and videos, video ideas and different creative ideas. I try to really listen to my inner voice and that inner magnetism about what I feel like doing today. Like I have a giant list of videos, video ideas and video topics, and I kind of always scroll through them and go for the one that I'm most gravitated towards when it comes to which one I'm going to make on a given day. And it's never the one at the top of the list, I'll tell you that. A lot of times it's kind of almost near the bottom of the list. I've tended to notice that. I don't know if that's just a habit or I'm just trying to make logic out of me trying to follow my inner voice. But moral of the story the more that you trust that inner voice and the more that you build it up and the more that you allow it to have input on decisions and follow through on those decisions and then study which ones work out and which ones don't and really kind of get an idea of was that from my inner like spirit or was that from my logical mind trying to parcel things out, then the better you're going to be at figuring out which is which and you know, learning how to follow that inner voice, that inner guidance. This can also be done quite well in meditation, where you don't just necessarily have to sit there and ask yourself, what do I want on my pizza today? You can go into a meditative state and take some time with, you know, focusing on your breathing and quieting your mind and dumping all the stuff from Upwork Home TV bed and getting into that deepened state. And then asking a question and seeing what answer you get. You can even have a visualization kind of thing where you are sitting across from yourself. You know, I'm in a chair. Other me or me (laughs) is in a chair right over here. And I'm having a dialogue talking with myself. You know, that kind of thing can work for talking with and experiencing your inner voice. And then eventually it can just become that voice in your head that responds when you ask it a question and then you're guided by your own internal compass. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Definitely drop a like or even subscribe to my channel if you haven't because I share a bunch of spiritual topics and whatnot all the time. Good hunting.